Professor Matthew Chan, uh, based at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Welcome to Auckland. Thank you. Today you're presenting the Leonard Travers presentation, The Genetics of Chronic Post-Surgical Pain. Can you tell us a little bit about your presentation? Uh, well, uh, I'm presenting our studies on a, a, a genetic association study on an observational cohort of uh, over a thousand patients undergoing a, a different surgery and uh, we followed them up for 12 months. We found that about 20% of our patients actually have uh, pain over the surgical wound uh, in that period. Um, the, we have some risk factors that uh, we identify, and one of them is actually uh, genes. Uh, one of the genes called the brain-derived neurotropic factor actually controlled um, the uh, pain sensation. Uh, one of these genes actually, uh, uh, one of these SNPs actually uh, reduce the chronic surgical pain, whereas the other gene, uh, uh, the SNPs of this gene actually increase the pain. How common, you say 20%, um, how common is that post-surgical pain though? Is that standard, do you think? Well, um, there has been quite a number of uh, studies that has been published over the last few years. Uh, the incidence has varied. Uh, some of the reports are saying as low as 2%, 5%, but uh, there are reports of over 80%. Now, what are some of the risks in chronic surgical pain? Uh, in our cohort, the uh, biggest risk factors is the uh, SNPs, the genetic factor. But there are other risk factors such as uh, younger age, less than uh, 65 years of age, and also the male patient seems to have more chronic surgical pain than those uh, female. In that one year study where you found that 20% who had the chronic pain you know, through after post-surgery, what are some of the impacts on those patients? Well, the impact is actually um, uh, enormous. Uh, a lot of patients actually reporting uh, difficulties uh, with walking, emotions, um, the enjoyment of life, uh, the work, the sleep, and uh, in fact, in their quality of life has also been uh, negatively uh, impacted. Um, so they may have problem with pain, they will have problem with uh, mood, and um, they will have uh, problem with uh, all rocks of their um, the quality of life. Now, as you look forward, further studies you're taking on or other research you know about, um, what else is being developed to prevent chronic post-surgical pain? Currently, the, um, the therapies that's been used to uh, reduce the risk of chronic post-surgical pain doesn't seem to be uh, working that well, except for ketamine. Uh, that uh, appears to have some uh, hope. Um, so we, what we are doing at the moment is uh, trying to develop a blocking peptide that will block the um, BDNF, the brain neurotropic uh, uh, factor, and hopefully that uh, will reduce the chronic post-surgical pain, but uh, without much of a side effects. Well, good luck with the Leonard Travis presentation tomorrow. Have you been enjoying the ASM here in Auckland? Oh, yes, this is a fantastic meeting. And are you going to the great Gatsby party tonight as well? Sure, I will. <laughs>